Hi guys, my name is Frankie and today I'm gonna to go over some products that I wouldn't repurchase. Before we get started, I just wanna put it out there. I do not have any hate for any of these products or brands. I'm just simply saying these are some products that just either didn't work out for me, I just didn't love and I'm not grabbing them every day and just something that maybe I'll use once in a while that I just wouldn't repurchase. So let's get started. So the first product that I'm going to bring out today is the 4-in-1 Perfector from Maybelline. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. Um, it's just not my favorite and it was a little bit more greasy than other ones that I've tried. So I'm just gonna show you on my skin here. So it just really didn't give me anything to go back and buy and be like, oh my gosh, I love this product. So um, unfortunately I won't be repurchasing this one. On the other hand, the shade, I think I have a three or a four. I use that in the summer as a bronzer and it is so sheer. It's got a little bit of like a glisteny shimmer to it. And that one I would repurchase for like a bronzing um, lotion for your face. So it's just this one in my shade 01 that I wouldn't repurchase again. Instead of using that, I would go ahead with my favorite Lumi Glotion and just use the Lumi Glotion because it gives you definitely a healthier looking glow and it gives you something to say, wow, I love that and really go back and purchase it for $20. If you haven't purchased this, they did just have it on sale on Amazon. This is in Canada, but they had it on sale for $16, I think it was. And that's a great deal. The next product is the Tinted Moisturizer from Fit Me. Now I wanted to love this. I love all of Maybelline's Fit Me products, but unfortunately this one just didn't make the cut. And just keep in mind that this might work for you and it might be your favorite product. For me, it just wasn't my favorite. I'd rather use the Fit Me Hydrate and Smooth. So I'm gonna show you on one side what it looks like. But when I put it on, it just didn't blend in nicely. I don't know. I just, I wanted to love it, I just don't. So I won't be repurchasing the Tinted Moisturizer from Maybelline. Instead, I would go ahead and use their Hydrate and Smooth. Now, if you are looking for more of a light to medium coverage um, that is still buildable, the Charlotte Tilbury, I don't have it with me right now, is one of the nicest foundations out there. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is keeping your skin really nice and glowy, and it just gives that really fresh look, kind of similar to like the Hydrate and Smooth from Fit Me. Tilbury is a little bit more on the high-end side. It's definitely a luxury product, and the pricing isn't for everyone. So I will keep and continue to look for a more affordable version of the Fit Me um, Tinted Moisturizer. But as you can see, it's still giving skin finish. This just, went blotchy on me. So I'm just gonna cover that up. Next product that I'm gonna bring out, I actually really liked. It's just not necessarily a pigment that I would buy again. This is the Makeup Revolution. You had me at first blush, liquid blush, super dewy. So my alternative for that would be the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. And this is in the shade 140 Rose Romance. I'm just gonna put it next to it. Now this also goes on very sheer, very dewy. I just really like how it goes on and I like the color a little bit more. So I will go ahead and put that on. So my next product is the Morphe Moonbeam Illuminator. And this just wasn't my favorite product. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here. It is pretty, but there is just something about it that just never really blended in great for me and kind of made the bottom layers patchy. It's illuminating, it's a little bit tacky, just wasn't my favorite. So for my alternative, if you want a pinky one, or if you want more of like a champagne one, those are the Halo Glow ones. And these I would repurchase all of the time. So I'm just gonna do a mixture of the two. I find these are very easy to blend in. Very beaming for an illuminator, but you can also kind of tone it down. I love these so much that I'm gonna go ahead and put it back onto my eyelids. Makes my day so much quicker and easier. So this is the Morphe side, and then this is the Halo Glow side. I personally just really like that the Halo Glow isn't sticky, it's not tacky, it's very satin feeling, um, whereas the Morphe is a little bit tacky, and I don't know, I just wouldn't repurchase it again. Okay, so my next one is the e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Shadow, and this is in the shade Flirty Birdie. It is really cute, it's pretty. I don't find there's a lot of pigment to it, and I find it's more sparkly than shimmery, so I was trying to find a dupe for the Kitten Stila because Stila is an amazing product, but some people just can't afford the $30 to $40 um, shadow. So I was looking for a dupe and I'm gonna continue to, but this is just not it. So it is really cute to have. I let my daughter play with it and it's really pretty, don't get me wrong. But after a couple hours of wearing it on my lid, if an hour, if a couple hours, um, it turned into just 
more like this. So I'm just gonna show you. It just turned into more of that, where it's kind of just like a lid with a bunch of glitter on it and it didn't stay. Like the color didn't stay. Um, when you put Stila on, it is like an amazing pop of shimmer to your eye. And this is just very glittery. It's not a repurchase for me, whereas the Kitten Stila, I would repurchase 20 times over. So I will continue to keep looking for a dupe, but unfortunately this just isn't If it. you've watched any of my past videos, you probably have seen me use Essence Mascara. Essence Mascara is very affordable and it works great. The waterproof is great. I use that on a lot of clients because I don't believe in spending $40 on a mascara when a lot of them have a time chart on it that six months is kind of a tosser. So especially if you're using it on your own eyes and that's not something to mess around with is mascara. So I don't spend a lot of money on mascara. The Essence has always been a favorite of mine. But unfortunately, I found one that I wouldn't repurchase and that is the Black I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. Um, this is not waterproof and it is, ex Oops. it is extremely, extremely messy. Like every time I put it on, it happens to get on my skin and I'm usually pretty careful with putting it on, but it gets everywhere and there's no fixing it. It's just super, super messy. It's a really nice black to it. So if it works for you, I'm happy for you. Um, but there's just so many other alternatives from Essence, especially that I would use. And there's one that I have and it's in a green um, metallic tube and it's amazing. This is always a go-to. It is the waterproof from Essence. It's I Love Extreme, but I also just tumbled onto one that I absolutely love. I got it for free. And this is the Morphe Make It Big Volumizing Mascara. And I just got a mini and I can't wait to purchase this as a full size. I just love how it goes on and within one to two coats, you have extremely long and volumized lashes. When it comes to pricing, it is a little bit of a difference. So the Essence is around between four to $6, whereas the Morphe, I've read it's around $16 for the full size, but the $10 extra is definitely worth it for a beautiful, beautiful mascara. Now, again, I wouldn't go ahead and purchase a $30 to $40 one, but $16 is not so bad. Okay, this product was an absolute train wreck for me. Um, it was a no-go from the start. And I wish I saved the blooper video because when I did it, I was like, what the heck is happening to me? And so I deleted it because it was really, I was embarrassed. I couldn't get it out of my brows. Once I got this product in there, it was like a thick caterpillar. I couldn't brush it through. I couldn't even use my cleanser to get it off. I don't know if I used it wrong, but I wouldn't repurchase this. It's waterproof. It's called Brow Like a Boss Ink Brow Gel from Essence. I don't know. It it didn't work for me and the applicator's weird. It's just, it was too much for me. Um, I could try to try it again on a video to see if, if maybe someday I'll like it. Cause I'm sure, I'm sure someone out there will tell me I used it wrong. It just didn't work for me. But even though I wouldn't repurchase this one from Essence, I would repurchase their brow mascaras over and over again. I have every single one in every shade and I think they are perfect, especially for a drugstore brand. Um, and the other ones that I would repurchase are the Morphe 2 and they have the cutest little applicators and their product is really great as well. Okay, so for my next one, unfortunately this one was super, super hyped all over TikTok and I see a lot of people use it and it's beautiful. It's a great product. Um, but unfortunately I just, I don't know, maybe I need to use it more and more and we'll see next wedding season if I like it on clients, but that's the Dior Glitz palette. Um, I was really expecting more from it, but yeah, maybe again, maybe I got the wrong one. There's two of them. Maybe I got the wrong one that everyone's hyped about. I wanted to absolutely love this, like die hard, love this, would use this on everyone. Um, but unfortunately it's not the one that I'm running for. So for 60 to 70 dollars, it's a tiny, tiny bit of a letdown, <laughs> but I do still love it. I do use it. I just probably wouldn't repurchase this ever again. And I think this one would be super, super pretty over like a bronze goddess um, kind of makeup style. So I'm going to try and give it a go again, but at this moment, I wouldn't repurchase it. I'm sorry. So I always want to bring in an alternative that if you see a color in that palette that you want kind of a dupe for, um, the Milani Luminoso is very similar to the peachy shade and I really like this one. And it gives that beautiful glow, but it also keeps like that peachy tone to it. Super, super pretty. So that is a great option for the peachy tone in that palette. It might be a little bit more peachy. You can tone it down by using less. But yeah, please don't come for me if you absolutely love this palette. And let me know if I did pick up the wrong one because 
I don't know necessarily that I'd go spend another 60 to $70 to try out the other palette, but if it is absolutely worth it, um, we'll see. And I'm really sorry if you love this palette. Um, again, I like it. I'm just not going to repurchase it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.